Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the decorated cave of the Pont d'Arc in southern France. So today we're in a rugged area of southern France in a river valley just near a cave known as Chauvet Cave. Now this cave contains prehistoric cave art from around 40 to 25,000 years ago. And it was painted by the Aurignacian people who were the first modern humans that lived in Europe. Now unfortunately, we can't go inside the original caves as they're closed off for scientific and conservation reasons. But there's a fantastic replica here and I'm really excited. Let's check it out. These are the cave paintings within the Chauvet Cave. Discovered in 1994, the paintings mostly date from around 30 to 35,000 years ago. The cave contains hundreds of paintings, mostly of animals. What's unusual is that while most cave paintings depict domestic animals such as horses and cattle, the paintings in Chauvet Cave largely show predatory animals, lions, rhinos, hyenas, panthers, bears. But there are other animals too, such as deer and bison. The animals are shown in a variety of poses as well, including some in scenes interacting with each other. Human figures only make one or two minor appearances, and even then they're only partial figures. The paintings are done in charcoal and red ochre, and include sophisticated techniques like a form of airbrushing using a blowpipe. Some of the paintings also have added depth by etching or scratching outlines. It's important to note as well that although we think of them as cave people, it's really an inaccurate term. These people did not live in the caves, and in fact they were actually home to bears, particularly hibernating bears. We think that these people only came to the caves to practice religious rituals and ceremonies. Well, we've just been through the replica cave and wow, I'm absolutely blown away. It was fantastic in there. There's just so many drawings and paintings of animals largely, but just the variety and the detail, the shading, the coloring and the composition as well. It's just fantastic to see and to think that the art was uh, in some cases 35 to 40,000 years ago. It's just incredible. I'm really blown away by that. And I'm actually reminded that there's a Werner Herzog documentary featuring this cave, which I'd strongly recommend checking out if you're at all interested. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.